Hello and welcome back to the Gaming Guild. Alex here with more Seven Days to Die. Uh, we are in the middle of week eight. Uh, I'm not sure what day it is. Uh, I think it's day 53. Um, I'm sure you'll see on the uh, title of the video. Uh, but yeah, we are um, trying to do missions. Um, these early missions with basic gear. We do have our stuff in that little house over there. Just so that we do have a close by location. Ooh, some duct tape. That's actually really good. All I need is one more duct tape or glue. And we'll have uh, enough materials to make the dew collector and start getting some water. We do have extra fast zombies, so we do want to make sure that we don't get uh, surrounded or anything. Ooh, a cooking pot. Pretty nice find. What are we dealing with here? That timing. Could have gone a lot worse. Could have gone better, but uh, not too bad for still fast zombies in the middle of the night.
Hey, we got some glue. Good morning. I'd say all we need now is a uh, toilet pistol and I actually think we'd be okay for our first blood moon. Or skill points to spend. Yeah, take care of that. Ooh, plane. A little far not too bad but i definitely want to go get the trader first so. now let's grab glue duct tape pipes uh Ooh, I don't have enough plastic. Well, that's annoying. Okay. Well, for now, let's get some murky water cooking.
So something that uh, cooked food does that uh, just like canned food doesn't is it gives me a stamina recovery boost so with that little uh, like sprint shoe thing in the uh, bottom left means that for six minutes I have just an increase to my stamina regeneration. Eating cooked food is also why my uh, stamina bar is out of 116 instead of 106. Uh, the cooked, the grilled meat just gave me a plus t temporary plus 10 to stamina. Usually, um, one of the reasons why I usually eat a lot of bacon and eggs is that it just gives me, I think, a plus 20. Um, Let's take the aloe vera seed. Here is your reward. I owe you one. Ooh, the foregrip mod looks nice. I just wish I had something to put it on. You guys couldn't have anything east. I really admire you, friend. Okay, I'll find something. You think you can help me with no need to apologize. I'll check my other sources. And I think I actually might just take the day off. Let's see if there's anything I can buy. I could buy some cooking skill magazines. Get a grill. Hmm. Not enough money to buy a pistol off of him. I wonder if they'll have it in a couple days. Alright, well, I really don't want to take the stuff over to the west. Uh, that just gets me even further away from my uh, current home location. Let's grab the rest of my supplies. Grab my bedroll. And then we'll head... Back to the house, drop off the rest of the stuff, I'll make another storage chest if we need to, uh, and then uh, grab the water that should be done cooking, and then head over to the airdrop. If I still have time, I might try to clear another one of the houses around the lake. We'll just kind of have to see how it goes. I'm a little curious to clear out this this house here. Um, it doesn't have a rating to it or a tier uh, because it's not considered a mission area. Um, it just means really for me to go in there on my own that I have no idea how difficult it could be. Um, sometimes places that don't have any rating at all could be easier than a tier one, you know, it could barely have any zombies spawn in it at all, or it could be, you know, a pseudo tier four location that's, you know, doesn't get its rating because it's too small, but it's as difficult as a tier four. So rather than try to customize it or update it to 
be better um, or more qualifiable for a job, the developer just kind of left it as a, you know, a non-tiered location. Um, because a lot of these buildings, like uh, Alpha 20, didn't have the same tier rating for locations. That's something Alpha 21 did. So I'm sure as they went through, they're like, oh, some of our locations are already pretty well built. We know how many zombies spawn in it, all this stuff. But the location just doesn't fit what missions will do. Uh, and they just need time to go back through and really kind of flesh everything out. Turn this off. Grab the water. Drink some water. Get land claim block. There. Get another secure chest. I drop food. Let's just take this can of pasta, eat that, and start making our way. Let's get this airdrop. See what else is over here on this side of the lake as we go around. Oh, that might have some good supplies in it. Try to hit that on the way back. I ever get this mailbox? I still have some uh, skill points to allocate. I should switch and do that pretty soon here. Let's see, what do I want? Um, let's go ahead and take an archery. I do a lot of that. Let's go ahead and take machine gunner. Just because I might need to be relying on my machine gun uh, for dangerous situations. Take a pummel peat. I am using my club a lot. And then let's take a I don't really need Master Chef. We'll hold on to one just in case.
Okay, let's swap out these clubs. Slightly better with my new club. Something over there. I'm not sure. Ooh. It was feral. Give him a second. <laughs> kind of like a Skyrim or Fallout logic. They're still searching for me. I don't think I get the sneak attack damage. Uh, but once they're pretty much done looking for me and they go back to their wandering uh, AI, uh, then I can get another sneak attack in. When I can look over at my recording, my recording is actually brighter than my game. My game is actually really dark right now. I think it's just the difference of the two monitors. <clears throat> my main monitor is more dynamic, um, but I think it has a cooler colors to it because of how much it's you know, designed for immersive gaming and everything like that. A rabbit scared me. Oh, there's a chicken. Looks like we're coming up to a bridge.
Um, three book bundle, three crafting skill magazines. <clears throat> Craft steel, arrows, and bolts. 10% more damage at night, that's handy. Increase attack speed with axes. I don't really attack with an axe, because axes are pretty low damage. It doesn't really help at all. So if it causes me to swing faster, it's nice for mining and such. Let's eat some tuna fish. Um, you know what? Let's have this coffee. A snake. Ooh, it's open. Does this place have a name? Oh, it's past uh, six o'clock. Um, thank you everyone for watching. Hope you had fun. Uh, I will see you in the next adventure.
Bye-bye.